If you ever wonder what God's kingdom looks like, it looks like a bunch of outcasts and oddballs and rejects gathered around the Lord's table, Christ's table. Not because they are rich or worthy or good, but because they are hungry and thirsty. Because they've said yes. They've said yes to some bigger story. They've said yes to someone who is bigger. They've said yes to walking in a way that is far better than, than my way or your way or his, her, his way or her, her way. And there's always room for, for more at this table. At this table in a cup poured out and bread broken, Jesus promises new life in this kingdom a new way of seeing and living and being in the world. And so, friends, we gather at this table to remember all that Christ has done, is doing, and will do. We gather at this table and we hope. We gather at this table to be made new. Let us pray. Jesus, you remain a, a sacred mystery to us. You have brought good news for all the people, and we will try not to be afraid, for you are indeed with us. And keep reminding us, showing us that you are with us. And we are hungry for your love and peace, which surpasses all understanding. We are thirsty for your spirit that never runs dry. And so in this meal, wherever we may find ourselves, wherever we are, nourish our souls, feed our minds, and, and quench our deepest longings, that we may learn to love you and follow you with renewed strength. Continue to teach us of your love and the invitation placed on our lives to live in your way. We pray what you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus, on the night of his arrest and betrayal, as he was gathered around that table with his friends, he blessed and broke bread and gave it to them and, and said, Take and eat this bread and do it to remember me. Remember my ways of love and peace and justice and grace for everyone. In the same way, he took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this to remember me, to remember my ways of love and justice and peace and grace for all people. Brothers and sisters, every time we eat this bread and drink of this cup, we are proclaiming the saving ways of Jesus Christ right here, right now, in our lives, in our communities. The brokenness of Christ makes us whole, and the cup of salvation is our greatest joy.
Jesus Christ, may the meal we've shared together nourish us to be your body in the world, to help make your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.